ready to go. All right, this is the Algebra 2 practice ELC question 37, and it says, which value of x makes this equation true? I'm going to show you guys two ways to do this problem. I'm going to show you the math intensive way, and then I'm going to show you the way that you can do it again if you're struggling. It's the end of the year, you're burnt out, and you're just trying to get the best grade you can on the ELC. Okay? Well, again, this is an equation, and the first thing that you're going to do, if you have 9 times x minus 7 raised to the 4 thirds power equals 9, the first thing you want to do is divide both sides by 9. So you divide both sides of your equation by 9. Well, of course, on the left side, your 9's just cancel out, and you have x minus 7 raised to the 4 thirds power equals, well, 9 divided by 9 is just 1. Okay. Well, now you have this exponent here, this 4 thirds, that you need to try to get rid of. Okay. Well, you need to pretty much just try to make this be a 1. So the way that you're going to be able to make that be a 1 is by raising this to the 3 over 4 power because technically if you cross multiply your 3's will cancel out and become 1's your 4's will cancel out and become 1's so that's all just going to be 1 which means you're just going to have x minus 7 one time okay but of course you all know that what you do to one side of your equation you also have to do to the other so you also need to raise your 1 to the 3 over 4 power okay well the way you write 1 to the 3 fourths power as a radical the number on the bottom or the denominator, that's technically the root that it should be raised to, or the root that it should be to. So this is technically a fourth root, okay? The number on top is what the number underneath your denominator, sorry, your denominator, the number underneath your radical should be raised to, so 1 to the third power. Well, 1 to the third power is just 1, and then the fourth root of 1 is also just 1, okay? So now all you have to do is solve this equation add 7 on both sides and you'd get x equals 8 okay and you're gonna find that that's gonna be choice C alright well like I said that's the, the math intensive way to do this type of a problem but you can also do this problem by using the calculator okay and technically just plugging all of those values in okay I'm gonna go ahead and just plug in 8 because I, we obviously know that that's the correct answer but you can plug in all these values and it should still get you to 9 okay so I'm just gonna plug in this left side of the equation and once I plug in that left side, it should equal 9 as well. So let's go and plug in 9 times, there goes a, a random 9 there, that shouldn't be there. So 9 times 8 minus 7, because that's the x value that we want to plug in, 8 minus 7 raised to the power the four-thirds power so I would put that power in parentheses so we re realize that that's the exact power that we're supposed to be raising this to so put that in parentheses and then press equal and of course you're going to end up getting 9 which is what that other side of that equation was supposed to equal so like I said you can plug in each one of these numbers and find out which one is going to equal the right side of your equation and in this problem it is still going to be choice C which is 8 good luck I hope this helps